Okay, we're going to do a wood frame 2x6 wall. Uh, so I'm going to just start a new file and I'll use um, an Imperial construction template. And that should be in Imperial units. Okay, and um, I'm on level one. There's a level two. And just so you know what we're doing, I'm going to show you some images here. Um, so this is what we're aiming for, is to do a model like that. And if you don't know all of that much about framing, so here's a nice image out of a book. So this is what we're going to do. Exterior walls, you can do your interior walls as well. Um, and this one shows how you frame around a window. And then I'll just put a door one in here as well. And eventually we'll do windows and doors. Okay, so first we're going to start with just the getting the actual 2x6 wall studs going. So for that I use um, the wall tool. And I go down to curtain walls and click on the curtain wall. We use this tool for any time you want something repeating like studs. Uh, edit the type, duplicate it, and call it 2x6 16 on center. So 2x6 studs, 16 on center. And right now the curtain panel is set to none. <coughs> that doesn't mean empty. What we want is empty. We don't want anything in there. So you scroll to the bottom of the pile and you'll find empty. Good. Vertical grids, we want our studs 16 on center. So instead of none there, we're going to give it a fixed distance of 16 inches. Um, okay, we want vertical mullions and horizontal mullions. It's a curtain wall, so that it, it's referring to our studs as mullions. So um, before we get too crazy, I'm just going to see what's in the file. So it's set to none. Uh, studs are rectangular. So there is a profile in this wall type called rectangular mullion. So that's perfect. So at this point, I'm just going <coughs> to say OK. And um, now it's just waiting for me to draw the wall. So this is uh, on level one, and I'm going to give it an um, unconnected height of eight foot one. If you've done residential houses before, you'll know that's pretty common wall height. Whoops. So eight foot one is my unconnected height. I'm going to click and let's not get too crazy. Let's make this um, 20 foot wall. Cool. Looks terrible. So I'm going to just set the scale to um, quarter inch and detail level fine. And I'm going to give it some color shaded. Okay, looks kind of weird. If you go to your 3D view, definitely not a stud wall at this point yet, but it will be. So select that, and we got all that stuff set. Oops. And so now what we want to do is create, instead of um, metal mullions here, curtain wall mullions, we're going to go into the families area in this file, go into uh, curtain wall mullions. There's the rectangular one. That's this gray one. Uh, right click, duplicate, and we'll call it two by six. There it is. Now we're going to set what that is all about. So I'm right clicking on it and going to the type properties. And it is rectangular. Nice. Um, but it's not five inches. It's actually 5.5. Two by six is one and a half by five and a half. So this is the five and a half. If we move down, let's make it look like wood. So I'll just uh, look for some wood in my material. And they've got lumber, so that's good. On the graphics tab, that's not bad. Um, I'll just lighten it up a bit. There we go. And the width, they put half on each side. So um, it's a one and a half total. So we need 0.75 on one side of a center line and 0.75 inches on the other. That adds up to one and a half by five and a half. Okay, so we just made a new mullion. 
Okay, now we can click on our curtain wall and you can see it didn't put one at the end, but it put one at this end and the whole bunch in between. So now we'll fix that up. Go into edit type. All vertical mullions, we want them to be two by sixes. So even the ones that are around the borders and vertical, as well as if we put any in there that are going to be horizontal, like bottom and top plates. And then when we add a window, we might add something else. So click OK. That's nice. If you look at it in 3D, also very nice. So there is a beautiful 16 inch on center stud wall. Looks great. The only problem is it's not built like this. They don't stop the top plate and then put it. So we need to fix that. Those are the join conditions. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, I'm going to look at this wall now in a south elevation view. Again, put everything to fine and then we can see stuff better. So, okay, so before we fix the join condition, I just need another um, plate at the top. We need a double top plate and a single bottom plate. And so these are mullions in a curtain wall world and mullions sit on curtain grids. So we need to add a new curtain grid. We want it to go all the way across. So all segments, that's all good. And um, I like to plop it in there first and then move it. So if you hover near something vertical, um, plop it in and it's given us our studs everywhere it found the grid line, which is perfect. Um, so underneath this um, mullion is the curtain grid and I, I can delete just one piece if I want. If you hover, uh, you'll see the curtain grid. So I'm going to grab it and here you can see the dimension and from the top to the middle of this one should be one and a half plus point some five, so that is two and a quarter inches there. Moved it up. Now we'll fix the join. Oops, need to put a mullion on here. So go to your mullion tool, go get your two by six, just one segment and add it there. Okay, now we'll fix the joint. So let's do the bottom. Um, so this should not be to the bottom, the plate goes. So just click on this little thing. Okay. Uh, and you can do that all the way along. I'm not going to do them all because you don't need to see it a thousand times. Okay, so go all the way across. If you go up to the top, we need both top plates to go continuously over to here. So if I clicked on, sure, I'll click on that one. If I click there, it takes it over and there. Beautiful. So I just need to do that to the next one as well. So like that. And that's how it should look all the way along. So I'll pick um, this one and that one. Okay, so I think you get that idea. These little things are the joining conditions. And when they don't give you what you want, you just click on them. There. So you can do that all the way across. And now we have as a beautiful 2x6 stud wall.